now, I hope, yes. So now the live stream starts, so it's also shown on, on the internet. So welcome, my name is uh, Wolfgang. Um, I'm talking about uh, crowdfunding uh, tonight, crowdfunding for filmmakers. Um, but first, I, I'd like to uh, tell you a little bit about um, this uh, project uh, uh, called uh, Ununi uh, TV, um, which is a. Um, first, let me share my uh, screen, uh, which is a project we started. Um, in yeah, in winter 2011, um, and uh, we aim to um, yeah help filmmakers to um, open up their own sessions uh, for education uh, and and for uh, talking, speaking about film and related uh, 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 topics like uh, TV, uh, web, social web uh, topics. So uh, we built this um, yeah, this platform called uh, Ununi uh, TV, uh, which is some kind of a virtual um, uh, university. Um, and you can, and everyone can participate, and everyone can add sessions, uh, do live streams, and and um, yeah, uh, help others to 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 navigate through through uh, film uh, topics and and web topics. So uh, we built this in German, but uh, a few things are also online in English. So I hope you can uh, uh, read a, a little bit, uh, um, or you can see what what what's what's. Uh, un, un, uh, all about. I can. This is the the, the session we are uh, in today. So um, normally you can just um, add a session and uh, enter your topic and your your description, and then uh, spread the word for it and 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 find some some participants for it, and uh, then you can do a session. And it's all based on Google Plus um, Hangouts. This is a feature on the social network of uh, on the Google Google social network Google Plus. So and since a few days, it's also uh, possible to live stream it on on YouTube directly from uh, Google Plus Hangouts. So this is what we're doing at the moment. And this is our first time we're doing this because uh, um, Hangouts uh, started just a few days ago in Germany and Austria. So this is some kind of uh, double or triple experiment because uh, Ununi TV is some kind of a, an experiment, a, a project um, which we do, um, yeah, for a few months now. Uh, then uh, also live streaming is uh, some kind of experiment, and there's also uh, you. There's also you in the in the theater in in, in Italy now. So um, this is offline and online uh, uh, webinar and lecture combined. So I hope. Um, you you have fun and uh, it's gonna be <laughs> it's 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 working. Um, so one one question: Can you hear me and can you see me? Cannot see me because I shared my screen, but I hope you can hear. Yes, and I can see you. So that's nice. Um, I will start my lecture now, and um, I hope you have questions. And uh, we we someone's talking. Is this is this possible? No, okay. 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 Uh, okay. Uh, so we decided to 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 have uh, the questions uh, um, later after the lecture because it's a little bit easier um, for me and and for the, it's easier in the situation of combining offline and online um, uh, thing. So I'm just starting and I tried to speak a little bit slow because there's also a, a translation in the in the theater um, from English to Italian I guess so I hope um, it works if it doesn't work please give me a sign <laughs> so by the way okay. I for, maybe I, I I uh, I forgot to tell you. You can also ask questions on Twitter and uh, Google Plus by uh, using the hashtag crowdfundingk3. And Anya uh, is uh, social media moder uh, is doing the social media moderation, so she's uh, asking all, all the questions later into the directly. Uh, she's giving it directly into the Hangout, and so you can also use uh, social media to discuss and 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 follow uh, the session. Okay, thank you. So I hope you can see my slides. So I hope you can 
Can you see it? Not yet. Not yet. Okay, so we can see you. Oh. Okay. No. Yeah. Okay. Great. So, some some words about me. I'm a new media consultant uh, focused on uh, social film marketing or or film. Uh, marketing and distribution uh, with uh, new media and social media. Uh, I'm also yeah focused on, a little bit on crowdfunding the last few months and years and I'm doing um, uh, lectures, workshops, seminars and also webinars uh, on these topics. I'm co-founder of uh, founder of uh, Ununi TV and also uh, Doing lots of other stuff, uh, also blogging and so on. So if you if you like, you can uh, check out all those uh, links later. Uh, the slides, the presentation is uh, online on slideshare.com, uh, and we will post the link or we will give you the link later. And Anja is also going gonna post it on Twitter and 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 the other channels. Um, first, uh, a few words about um, what crowdfunding is. Uh, some kind of introduction uh, in, or, or some kind of uh, definition, uh, trying to, to define the word. Um, it's easy uh, in, in, in English uh, because it says crowdfunding is about the financing of projects and people by crowds or by large crowds. Uh, for example, uh, in Austria or in German, in, uh, in, in German language, there is by far not uh, such a such a simple explanation or, or definition on crowdfunding, uh, but in English it's really uh, uh, easy. So it says um, there is uh, it's some kind of project funding uh, or financing project with uh, small amounts um, by mostly uh, anonymous uh, people or anonymous crowd uh, uh, that pool together uh, their money and help. Um, um, help creating uh, projects or help uh, or supporting projects uh, mostly via uh, social media and, and internet uh, platforms. Um, there is a, a crowdfunding industry report um, which is an international report that um, uh, defines uh, crowdfunding or that splits crowdfunding into four uh, um, into four parts, uh, which is, which are uh, equity-based based projects or or, or platforms, uh, donation-based um, approaches, lending-based, and reward-based. So uh, this is um, how the international uh, crowdfunding market uh, uh, works in 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 Europe. It, it's or especially in, in German-speaking uh, countries, and but also other speak other uh, other languages in, in Europe or other countries in Europe. It's a little bit different because there's uh, they only sometimes they only uh, um, yeah uh, talk about crowd investment and crowdfunding, which is. Um, the only difference is uh, uh, the, the the rewards you get um, in crowd investments. You get uh, also get money back, and and uh, crowdfunding you there are some uh, idealistic uh, rewards and some um, uh, philanthropic and and sponsorship incentives. Um, what's the what's what's crowdfunding in statistics? Um, the, the 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 biggest platform. Um, Who's, uh, who's um, the biggest infrastructure? Um, who has the big biggest infrastructure and the most projects is Kickstarter, which is an American-based platform, and they reached uh, their hundred million dollar uh, pledges or, or or the money uh, uh, which was uh, supported uh, uh, was hundred million dollars, and they had their one million backer last year. So. Um, it, this is really a huge uh, platform, and it's in, is is still. Uh, uh, yeah, growing and it's still getting bigger. Um, in 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 total, uh, in total, uh, all the crowdfunding platforms um, which were uh, um, yeah uh, asked by the by uh, Mass Mass Solution, which uh, they did a, a study or they did a report. Uh, all the platforms uh, together raised 1.5 billion dollars. So that uh, these are uh, crowdfunding platforms. Uh, um, Around the world, um, which is a, a quite a big uh, uh, amount of money, uh, but most most of those um, sorry most of those um, 
um, most of the money uh, goes uh, or went through uh, uh, equity-based uh, crowdfunding, but also uh, big projects uh, in technology and and some in music and and yeah, um, startup from the start comes from the startup scene. So there's also a, a study in, in in Germany and and which is which is um, trying to. Uh, find out how crowd, crowdfunding works in, in, in Austria, Switzerland, Germany, and also in Europe, uh, done by ECOSOM, um, which says, the study says that um, the mo uh, 50 percent or nearly 50 percent of all the crowdfunding projects um, ra raise their, their, their total amount or their target amount, so uh, 50 percent are, are successful and the other uh, 50 percent uh, are not so. This is uh, how, what's the situation in, in Germany and Austria, uh, but it's also uh, similar in all, all the or some other uh, European countries. Um, most of the most of the um, most of the film projects um, or successful film projects are by uh, are nearly by 40 percent, so it's a little bit lower than the average uh, rate on, on crowdfunding projects total. So um, in, in Germany, the first platform raised, uh, last year raised, or a few months ago raised um, the, one, uh, the first million, so in, in Euro, first million in Euro, so it's also growing in, in Europe and in especially in Germany, France, uh, Great Britain, so crowdfunding is c going to be a uh, um, bigger and bigger also in, in European countries. Um, which projects can you, um, can you start um, with crowdfunding or on crowdfunding uh, platforms? There are nearly no, no limits. You can start social projects. Uh, you can raise for arts and cultural projects, create creative projects. You can uh, raise money for or fund money for political campaigns, for uh, journalism, uh, for startups and business ideas. Uh, you can uh, um, uh, raise money for science, architecture, and even for private use. So there's also, there are also platforms for uh, uh, party, uh, raising money for parties and, and private stuff. Uh, in film, uh, there is also, there are also no, quite no limits, like, uh, like you can raise money for uh, production, for distribution, for marketing, screening, and sound, uh, even soundtrack purposes for accruing and so on. So. Um, Theoretically, you can uh, fundraise or you can uh, get money from the crowd for 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 uh, for every part of your project. But uh, in yeah, uh, theoretically, so you do, it, it's not that easy. But uh, I'm gonna tell you how it works uh, in a, in a few moments, or or how it worked for successful projects. Uh, there are many 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 uh, crowdfunding platforms. Um, out there at the moment, and they're still growing, especially in Europe. It's they are exploding. So uh, the biggest I, I already told you is Kickstarter in the uh, USA. Uh, they're also uh, planning to to start uh, in Europe soon, in 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 the UK, in Great Britain. I think in October or or this fall. Uh, also, Indiegogo is which is the second um, biggest platform, or or is a second big platform from, from the US is going to um, Germany uh, this, this fall, so uh, also the U US platforms are, are coming to Europe uh, in the next few months. Uh, and on the left you, you see the, you see the um, mostly, yeah, the platforms for, for all kind of projects, for especially for creative projects, uh, and most of them are international uh, platforms, so you can use it from, from around the world. But there are also uh, um, specialized uh, platforms, um, which are, uh, which you can see here, uh, specialized for film projects, for example. Um, uh, Vodo is a platform where you can distribute uh, your videos through torrents, so uh, through peer-to-peer -peer networks, but you can also, but there's also a donation uh, uh, feature um, uh, um, integrated in, in this platform, so you can also fundraise or crowdfund there. Uh, Indie Shares is going to be a new one, uh, which, which is combining crowdfunding and crowd investing, so you 
get you don't uh, you get back some kind of rewards like uh, DVDs and stuff, but you get but you also will be uh, uh, um, yeah you also get back revenue shares and so on by uh, when when the film is sold or or distributed, and uh, uh, on at the bottom there are some German uh, or German based Germany based platforms or Austrian based platforms which are also going to be. Uh, English, or they also uh, going to be multilingual. Um, so uh, there is really a huge amount on on platforms coming coming up. Uh, there is even a, a crowdfunding widget for WordPress. So if you have your own WordPress, um, WordPress is a, a blogging a blogging system or a web a content management system. So if you run your website or your blog on WordPress, uh, you can even uh, uh, use a, a plugin for crowdfund your project uh, online. And there's also an Italian platform which is call, called Epela, or uh, um, uh, which is kind of new and also is for creative uh, projects and 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 I think also startups. Um, yeah, as you can see on this on this um, picture, um, most of the platforms are uh, are based in America, but also in 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 Europe there are many platforms um, spread over the whole. Um, over over Europe, so um, they're starting uh, platforms nearly every week. Is there is a new platform? Most of the new ones are uh, equity based, uh, equity based uh, crowdfunding. So, uh, which is for start mostly for startups and business ideas and and funding uh, new new ideas in terms of uh, yeah uh, creating your own company and so on. Um, how does crowdfunding work? Um, there are a few steps you have to you have to think about, or there are a few uh, steps you you need to you need to do when when crowdfunding. First, uh, you choose the right uh, platform. Uh, but I also have to say that uh, that not every project, and especially uh, some of the most uh, successful projects uh, in Europe, were not. Uh, um, were not uh, they didn't raise uh, the whole money on on a crowdfunding platform, but on their own uh, channels like website or even on Facebook and and, and Twitter and so on. So uh, there are two two ways you can use crowdfunding. So you you build your own website and or or channel, or you use uh, uh, infrastructure uh, on a crowdfunding platform. So um, but most of the projects. Um, Turn to to crowdfunding platforms, and so the first uh, step you you should you should consider is to find the right platform for you. So and this is um, maybe sometimes it's it's not really important because uh, the main uh, work um, will be or should be done by you or by the project owner. So uh, you you need to drive. Uh, People on onto your site, onto your uh, project page, uh, to contribute to support you. So um, theoretically, the platform is not that important, but there are a few differences between the platforms. Uh, for example, Kickstarter is only available for people uh, who have a bank who have a bank account in in America or Amer are American citizens. Uh, so it's not uh, it's not really. Um, it's not really that easy to to, to uh, crowdfund on Kickstarter. Um, other other platforms use um, I don't know uh, crowd, um, uh, payment systems you don't you don't like or your supporters uh, don't don't like or don't don't use. Um, and it's also uh, some. Um, yeah, some question of, of languages, for example. So in in, in Germany, uh, most of the platforms. Uh, um, only uh, used uh, uh, German as a as as a language, so you couldn't start uh, a, a multilingual uh, project there. So it's so these are all the things you you have to consider. And once you you found your uh, the right platform, uh, then you start creating your uh, project page, uh, which is some kind of pitch. Uh, you have. Um, a video there, a, a short video which introduces the project, uh, which also introduces uh, you and your team, or or and also um, your um, yes your your aims, yeah your your the things you you'd like to achieve with the project and how you how the money is used and what are the rewards, the the perks you give back uh, to all the supporters. So this should be the first thing you do is uh, to think of uh, a nice video and of course uh, shoot it or, or or edit it and then uh, also describe the project as um, yeah as 
as much as yeah, as yeah in a, in a, in a short way uh, in in also in written in written form but um, as transparent as possible and then you uh, create and offer some rewards which is uh, you always give something back uh, or, uh, when when crowdfunding uh, for a creative project uh, for example so um, in film in film there is uh, mostly there is uh, cr you give back credits or you give uh, you give them a DVD for I don't know 25 euros and they get a special uh, uh, um, a special screening uh, for 100 euros or 500 euros and a handshake with the director for a thousand euros and so on so you set your rewards for yourself and uh, the more exclusive or the more uh, uh, creative they are the the better you your your or the, the the easier uh, you 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 reach your target amount, your your goal. So you also set your goal. So the, so be realistic. Um, so uh, the most the, uh, in, on average in 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 Europe and especially in uh, in uh, Germany, uh, there are three or five thousand euros are are still is still the the most. Um, is the amount which is uh, um, uh, which projects uh, get the most? So uh, campaigns like uh, you know uh, Amanda Palmer's uh, one million uh, music music crowdfunding uh, is are still not uh, not daily in in Europe, but it is possible. So you can also reach uh, higher amounts uh, through cr uh, crowdfunding platforms. But uh, be realistic and and set the realistic targets. Um, after that, and this is the most um, exhausting uh, uh, process, uh, you you need to um, yeah you need to find supporters. So you need to communicate. You, you need to tell people that there is a crowdfunding uh, campaign uh, online, and you need to uh, drive them th uh, to your crowdfunding website or to your crowdfunding project um, page. So uh, this is. Um, some crowdfunders say it's a 24/7 job, so uh, they are working uh, the whole day on their crowdfunding campaign, uh, communicating with uh, uh, journalists, with friends, uh, with people who care about the topic of the project or who care about uh, uh, um, other things and who who might uh, support it or who might give some some euros or dollars or or. Or whatever. So this is the the main thing you have to consider. So uh, planning and 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 uh, yeah, planning a, a communication strategy is is the most important thing uh, when it comes to, to crowdfunding. So uh, think about what can you what can which content you can give uh, supporters or potential supporters in the. Uh, in this in this time of crowdfunding, so uh, maybe you start a blog, or maybe you have a Twitter uh, uh, um, account, maybe you uh, run a Facebook page, or or all three or or more. Uh, maybe you find your supporters uh, only through print media or through classical uh, PR. Uh, so this is what you what you need to think about, and then uh, uh, you should implement it uh, the very first minute your. Uh, Project is online. Also, email uh, always work. Uh, or emails or personal emails to friends and 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 colleagues always uh, work. And after you raised your your goal, and this is uh, hopefully you raised your goal, so you you are you, you are successful. Uh, then you have to, um, yeah, of course, give back your the rewards and and send the rewards. Uh, in the meantime. Uh, you should always post regular up updates. So updates uh, is is uh, updates are really important. So um, tell people uh, about your project, uh, about the the status of your project. So where are you? Where are you uh, uh, in terms of project planning? What what are the news? What are the uh, what can you give them? Uh, can you give them some photos, some videos, uh, texts, and so on, interviews or or uh, teasers and so on. So. Uh, Try to try to uh, keep them in the loop and and and, and update them uh, regularly. And after then, after that, uh, as of course you need to you need to send them their rewards and uh, um, <coughs> um, yeah, thank everyone who helped uh, raise your money. Um, it's I already told you about the 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 
So in preparation, uh, when it comes to preparation, you need to set your campaign duration. So normally, uh, crowdfunding campaigns uh, last um, four, six, eight uh, weeks. So um, some people and some studies say uh, the, the quicker you're doing a crowdfunding campaign, the, the more successful or the or the the easier it is because after eight weeks people are really uh, yeah it's gonna be boring for people for example on Facebook and and your blog and so on so um, uh, try to be try to 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 be short and and uh, try to keep it short and and really um, effective then uh, yeah I already told you set a, a realistic target amount think of uh, creative rewards and plan your communication um, when it comes to to platforms, uh, I already told you that there is there are different payment systems. For example, Amazon uh, uh, Kickstarter works with Amazon Payment, so this is really uh, common in in America. Um, nearly every or many Americans have an Amazon account, so they can if they support some projects on Kickstarter, it's gonna be uh, paid through the Amazon account, and they have it on the Amazon bill. In in Europe, it's uh, different. There are differences uh, between uh, many platforms. Some use uh, PayPal, some only uh, use credit cards payments, uh, others use a direct uh, ba uh, bank to bank um, payment, uh, uh, others use uh, e-wallets and so on. So there are many different uh, pay, uh, payment systems and you should consider this uh, or, uh, for yeah, which 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 one is the best for your uh, target group or for the group of supporters you you aim to reach? So uh, think about that uh, before before your campaign starts. And then there is um, there are also platform fees. So most of the platforms um, uh, take uh, zero to ten percent of the of the reached uh, amount of the successful reached amount of of money. So. Um, you also sh should think about this um, when before starting. So, if you need, uh, if you need, I don't, for example, five thousand uh, uh, euros, you should also put uh, the, the a few a few hundred more uh, on top because uh, this goes to the platform. Um, and there's also uh, a, 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 an approach or a system which is called or or it's uh, it's called all or nothing. Um, so. You only get your 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 money when you reach the total amount or the the, the target you set. So if you say you you need ten thousand euros and you 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 don't reach the um, your, your goal in, uh, within the days you 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 set or the the campaign duration, then you don't get the money. So it's an all or nothing, and um, uh, this is also quite interesting because it's some kind of a motivation uh, thing for supporters and also for for uh, project owners so I hope I hope you can follow <laughs> follow me and uh, I hope also the translation is working in the theater okay um, then I, I'm, I I carry on with um, some examples and then we start the question the questions uh, the pioneers in in crowdfunding for f in, in, in film uh, were um, for example the age of stupid which is a a, a film uh, a, a British film uh, about climate change and they started crowdfunding I think it was 2004 so uh, long before the first before maybe f uh, for example Kickstarter uh, launched and so on so they started uh, they set up a, a website uh, and through this website they, they started to crowdfund they also mixed and combined it with crowd investment so they didn't only have um, uh, DVDs and stuff uh, as a reward they also gave back uh, um, uh, they also did some kind of revenue share so uh, after uh, they distributed the film uh, people who, who invested in the movie uh, got uh, cash back so they, they mixed it and uh, within a few years um, I think two or three years uh, they reached uh, 900 uh, nearly 900,000 pounds British pounds so which is quite quite uh, a nice uh, success and they also uh, had a distribution platform uh, uh, online where they uh, gave some uh, so you, you could also buy some small licenses and and do your private screenings or also public screenings so you they pre-sold 
<coughs> their movie and, and and it worked and it was was some kind of pioneering work because they also uh, documented their the whole process you can uh, read it on their website they documented uh, what crowdfunding is and how it worked for them and so on uh, another big project and, and a more recent one is Iron Sky uh, many of you I, I think uh, know or, or have heard about Iron Sky which is a, a Finnish movie about uh, uh, Nazis on the moon and uh, it's kind of a, a, yeah it's kind of a funny a fun movie and <clears throat> they tried to they started with uh, uh, crowdsourcing so uh, crowdsourcing the movie not only uh, crowd financing but also uh, they they uh, people uh, fans helped them to to build uh, uh, 3d animations uh, backgrounds for the movies and so on uh, also uh, giving them uh, their knowledge and so on and know-how, and and then they then they went into crowd uh, funding, and after after a crowdfunding a few months or a few years, also traditional um, uh, finance uh, financing uh, or traditional producers came on board, and in total they had uh, seven point five million euros, I guess, uh, and uh, nine hundred thousand uh, euros came from crowdfunding. So uh, they. They um, get quite a lot, got quite a lot of money uh, from the crowd, from private uh, investors or private sponsors. Uh, in the meantime, the, the movie was is is is, is distributed and it's it's uh, it's also was shown on festivals and and you can um, I think you can also download it and legal download it and also illegally download it. I guess so. It's 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 finished and it's done. Uh, through through uh, also through crowdfunding, then uh, um, there are also um, some more exam another um, another movie also also from Great Britain is just do it. It's again um, uh, dealing with uh, 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 nature, climate change, and so on. Uh, another one is uh, this in California. It's a German movie about skateboarding uh, in. In the former uh, uh, DDR, and they they also did their crowdfunding uh, on their own website. So this is uh, quite interesting because all those um, projects uh, reached uh, more than uh, the average amount you reach on on crowdfunding platforms. And uh, my my guess is because it is uh, of the longer duration. Uh, of funding because on platforms you 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 only have uh, one or two months time, and those pl uh, uh, projects were funding for uh, years or months. So that's that's um, that's maybe the difference. Um, there are a few um, other examples I'd like to show you. Um, there is a, a project from Austria. Uh, call, they are shooting a documentary about Bud Spencer, uh, uh, Italian actor, and and not o not only actor but also uh, lawyer, sportsman, uh, I don't know, pilot, and so on, musician, and uh, a, a, guy, a guy from Vienna um, uh, thought about uh, why is there no no documentary about but uh, uh, about Bud Spencer, and he just started uh, to. Uh, to 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 shoot one or to produce one, and uh, a few years ago he he set up a blog, uh, and where where he uh, put a button on and uh, which said uh, please help me support me, I'm gonna do a, a Bud Spencer documentary, but I have no clue how to start and how to uh, interview him and how to find out uh, who can help me and how to finance it. So it was from the first day it was a crowdsourced uh, uh, or a, um, yeah a, a Web 2.0 uh, uh, a movie uh, and people people helped him uh, um, find um, friends and colleagues, ex colleagues of Bud Spencer and. Um, at the moment, he, they are doing their third crowdfunding campaign. They split their project into small parts, and then they crowdfunded. So uh, they did the first one. They did, uh, and they reached 4,300 euros. Then they reached 4,400 euros, and now they're trying to reach 5,000 euros. So in total, it's uh, nearly 15,000 uh, euros. Uh, and so uh, the project is is, is done. Like step by step, but they interviewed Bud Spencer, they interviewed Terence Hill, they interviewed the the uh, guy who did the soundtracks and so on. So it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be done. But it's not only a, a project about Bud Spencer, but also about Bud Spencer 
fans. So they travel around uh, Europe and interviewed, uh, uh, travel around Europe and interviewed Bud Spencer fans, and they're all gonna do. Uh, they're all doing it uh, through crowdfunding and social media. So they find financing it through through their fans. So this is. Um, how it works for them, and it's it's really interesting because you can follow them every step uh, in in terms of filmmaking and uh, and producing, and also finding people who are, who are doing camera work and so on. So it's really it's really a, a, a interesting project. There's also a new trailer uh, or, or teaser coming coming out or is is uh, online now. Um, uh, Kila Visto is a project where where I was, uh, which I was involved in. Uh, I did, um, yeah, consulting, crowdfunding consulting, also social media consulting for this project, which is a uh, a film from a Berlin-based uh, director Claudia Rorarius, and sh uh, she tells a story about uh, a guy who lives in Berlin and uh, who doesn't really know his father, and um, his father lives in Rome, so he travels from Berlin to Rome. So it's a road movie uh, to find his uh, on a way to find his father, and uh, she was funded by traditional body, uh, funding bodies in Germany. So she got uh, uh, money for for development and for production, but uh, uh, at the end when it came to distribution, uh, she had no money. So, so she, um, she started uh, to crowdfund the release of the the cinematical, the theatrical release uh, release of her movie, and she raised eight thousand euros and did the uh, movie premiere in some kind of do-it-yourself style. So she uh, um, so she um, found some uh, cinemas in Berlin and Munich, in Cologne and and Hamburg, uh, uh, where she showed the movie. And this was all uh, uh, done through crowdfunding because she. Um, uh, bought or produced the, the uh, digital copies and the uh, three mil uh, 35 millimeter copies through, uh, with the money from uh, that came from crowdfunding. In return, um, you 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 got uh, the movie as a download. Uh, uh, she uh, al uh, also blogged about uh, how how things uh, worked out for her, and and you uh, you could uh, be um, there at the premiere and so on. So you can all, I think you could also buy. Uh, uh, by a, a candlelight dinner or something with her. So uh, another movie which is quite interesting is a, a movie about crowdfunding, which is called Capital C. Um, and they raised eighty thousand dollars on on Kickstarter, and this is going to be a, a, an interesting movie because it's 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 telling the story of crowdfunding through different perspectives from all around the world. And I'm really I'm really. Uh, Happy when it comes out because uh, it's going to be also a little bit uh, um, yeah it's going to be interesting also for the media because uh, yeah as you might know crowdfunding is uh, still some kind of uh, um, yeah new thing and the more it gets in, in the media the the more it will uh, be the more there will be successful projects so it's going to be uh, hopefully it's going to be a, a huge success also in in theaters and 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 online. Um, this movie is 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 uh, I really like because they did they did it um, they did a really good job. It's a short movie and they they tried to raise uh, five thousand uh, dollars on Indiegogo. Uh, Indiegogo is the the only platform um, which doesn't follow the all or nothing uh, uh, system. So you can keep what you raise. So if you if you raise uh, only three thousand of the five thousand uh, dollar goal, you can also keep it. Um, but they did it better. They did eight, uh, more than eight thousand euros for the short film, and they really did great work uh, in terms of social media communication. They had their own Facebook group, uh, and uh, each each uh, supporter uh, was um, introduced or, or invited to the the closed Facebook group, and was uh, uh, from that moment was part of the project. So everyone. Uh, in this group, every supporter uh, uh, could um, help and support them also in terms of, um, you know, uh, they were asking questions and they showed them the first uh, the first few minutes and so on. So they were really uh, involved in the project. It's, they were uh, they were not only giving uh, uh, money, so, but there were uh, also some kind of I don't know. Um, Team members, and um, he also uh, the guy, uh, the director also blocked about his crowdfunding uh, efforts and also his uh, um, um, 
experiences uh, on his blog. Uh, he at the, he blocked it in he blocked in English, and he also did some kind of statistics, which which uh, or or what 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 part of the campaign uh, um, drove people on on the platform and so on. Also, he he did some kind of statistics and so on. And it's really interesting to read because. Um, Yes, you can learn a lot of, of things uh, by by observing other projects. And Wolfgang, this is one. Yes. There's the first questions in the cinema hall. Yes. Yes. So first he will make the question in Italian, and there will be a translation. Can we can we just um, can I just finish my my presentation because then it's easier? Uh, can you please uh, remember the question because I only have a few few more slides left and then I I would finish anyway time is getting a bit yes I will I will uh, uh, be faster okay perfect okay is it is it okay uh, yeah. this this is this is a, a project that's online at the moment uh, an American project and they try to to um, to distribute their movie uh, through uh, Indiegogo through crowdfunding so uh, with one dollar you can have the film and they are trying to reach one million dollars but they they know it's it's not gonna work but as many as they as they as they uh, um, as much money as they get uh, they are they are satisfied so they try to to uh, turn uh, uh, independent film distribution upside down and start uh, not with a theatrical or online release but with uh, distributing it through through crowdfunding so uh, you give them one dollar you get the film that's, that's as simple as it is, and I, I think it's quite interesting. Uh, an interesting project. Uh, yes, uh, I, 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 I don't talk about this because time is really uh, we're really late now. But I'd, I'd like to also show you this uh, uh, slide, which is uh, this is uh, two uh, German movies, and they uh, Stromberg uh, they got one million uh, euro, so uh, which is quite uh, a huge amount for for European. Uh, um, in Europe, so they but they also co uh, again combined crowdfunding and crowd investing. So this is a, a very popular uh, approach at the moment to to do the you know kind of uh, uh, philanthropic thing uh, approach, but uh, combining with uh, real business uh, uh, approach. And yes, uh, Invasion of the Not Quite Dead is a zombie movie, and this guy is. Um, uh, funding through Twitter for nearly four or five years. So he he's, he's, he has I think sixty or seventy thousand Twitter followers, and uh, he's doing some kind of uh, Twitter tons, which are Twitter marathons. So he's uh, uh, online and he's he's up for twenty four forty eight hours and doing uh, and, and doing Twitter marathons. So uh, he's twittering about his project and 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 and, and talking about uh, film and and zombie movies and so on. And he uh, uh, raised uh, I think it was. Fifty or eighty thousand uh, pounds uh, only through through twittering and and driving uh, awareness to uh, to his uh, website um, in the last year. So yes, um, I think that that's it. Um, you also find some links and my contact details. Uh, thanks for the attention uh, for your attention and questions now, please. <laughs> Sì, ho una domanda io. E, che cosa ci consigli per fare un crowdfunding che salti di più all'occhio rispetto agli esempi che ci ha fatto vedere oggi? What do you suggest us to do to have a crowdfunding that uh, is like more interesting than the others that makes his appearance more than the others? Ah, uh, that's really hard to say. Uh, I mean of course, it is all, always important to have a to have a great idea, and but also the ways you communicate uh, your project and the ideas. So uh, the most important thing is to be creative and uh, try to 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 develop some viral um, ideas. So 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 things that people can share and uh, and send to to their friends. So that's the that's the most important thing. But also it's important to be really transparent and really uh, explain and talk about your project, but not only about the project. Don't uh, or try not to to market your film 
because it it it's 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 uh, or or not directly market your film. Also talk about other things. So um, yeah, um, find. I mean, the, the, uh, for example, the guys from Iron Sky, uh, uh, they 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 um, did some uh, campaigns on the street a few years ago at the Berlinale in in, in uh, at the film festival. So they they uh, they uh, gave away some some kind of uh, magazines or, or newspapers uh, in in 1930s style. So uh, so old old style, and they and which said. Uh, uh, Nazis on the moon. Nazis landed on the moon, and they are coming back. And so they gave uh, gave away those newspapers, for example, and it really spread. Uh, uh, um, in, in the state, uh, people spread the word about this 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 uh, viral uh, campaign or about this thing because they didn't know that it is for a movie. So first, uh, some people thought that this is real, and so and then they also. Uh, uh, um, made some videos and put it on YouTube and so on. So if you can, if you can. Um, yeah, if you can have some kind of, um, if you have some um, interesting, uh, uh, if you can focus on on the most interesting thing in your project and and work this uh, work this um, out in your campaign, then then this might be then this might work uh, best. But it's not that easy, of course, <laughs> because there is no there is no golden rule for. Uh, uh, how, how crowdfunding works best because uh, if there was <laughs> everyone would do it and it's and and everyone would crowdfund <laughs> thank you Io volevo sapere a proposito, cioè, quando uno ha pubblicato sul, sul sito di crowdfunding il proprio progetto, e qual erano, allora ci hai parlato delle, delle strategie che potevano essere più legate al social network, io volevo capire anche se e come si poteva intersecare a questo una strategia di viral marketing o ad esempio se bisogna appoggiarsi a dei blog o a dei siti che, che promuovano perché non credo basti pubblicare solamente il progetto su, sul sito di, di, di Stafandico oppure su Twitter e, e la seconda cosa era So you, you already talked about um, how to um, share the, the news about uh, the project you put on a platform also on social networks but how can you connect it also with some like more viral uh, viral uh, things like to spread the word more quickly like uh, intersecating it in, to the, the platform thing and social networks I mean yeah I mean you, you need to, what you really need uh, before you start crowdfunding is is some kind of a network so uh, you need to have uh, or build a community. So um, most or, or many m many projects fail because they don't they start building a community when they when they start the crowdfunding campaign. So uh, because it's uh, the time is limited, so it's six or eight weeks. Uh, uh, it, it's really it's really it's really uh, not that uh, not that long. So you 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 can't go from zero to hundred uh, and and. And you know, have uh, fifty thousand uh, followers on on Facebook or friends on Facebook. So what you need is a is some kind of a network. And you, if you can, if you can, or if you know them, uh, try to find out who who uh, which persons or which uh, channels or media media are 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 some kind of uh, influencing other people. So uh, try to find some uh, journalists who write about your. Your project, and sometimes uh, they 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 also come up with good ideas and uh, find the people who 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 are, who are really like influencers in their network. So uh, this is how 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 the the project spreads. The first day, uh, the first day, you should also uh, uh, send out emails. This is many many project owners tell me, and I also and and I also know from my experience, uh, uh, personal emails. Um, uh, to to people you know or people you 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 worked with and or people who are interested in, or or might int might be interested in your project uh, they really 
they really uh, uh, you can really uh, get them by by sending them a personal email maybe with also some some kind of a uh, few few lines uh, personal lines but especially uh, having their name uh, not not a mass mail, but uh, but a personalized email. So so this is how you start. And 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 when you uh, and when you have when you have a, a, a some kind of a community, and it doesn't matter where you have it. It, it can also be offline, but uh, mostly it works with 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 Twitter, Facebook. Uh, Websites, uh, visitors, and so on. But also, uh, there are new networks like Pinterest, uh, Instagram, mobile devices, and mobile apps. So uh, Google Plus, of course. Uh, so um, try to try to try to um, uh, build a community and 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 also be some kind of a, a inspirational uh, uh, person or, or or team for others. Uh, also talk, give, give them, give them, uh, give them things. Uh, so uh, um, social web and also especially crowdfunding is 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 uh, taking and giving. So uh, you give them also back some 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 know-how, some some I don't know, some contacts, some things 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 others uh, like. <laughs> that's that's easy. Give them back what they like. So uh, if they like to talk, then talk talk to him. Discuss discuss their their their. their um, uh, I don't know problems and ideas. Don't don't market your project. That's that's that, that people don't like it. So uh, um, yeah, the easiest thing is to to communicate. So I I know it's not it's not that easy, but but it's the it it can be easy. So you you need to you need to um, yeah try to to talk to the people. Poi vorrei chiedere se a tuo parere ci sono delle, dei generi o, o come non so, ad esempio mi è sembrato che nei progetti che ci hai presentato ci fossero mh, molti più progetti di documentario o ad esempio delle tematiche, come ho osservato che ci sono tante tematiche riguardanti ad esempio l'ambiente, su cui poter fare leva perché magari in questo periodo le persone sono più eh, sì, sensibili a questi argomenti, insomma se hai dei consigli da darci su, su tematiche o su generi da, da seguire. I wanted to know uh, if there is uh, some genre or kind of film that is more uh, um, likely to be successful in this crowdfunding. Like for example, uh, you gave us uh, a lot of examples about climate changing films or um, things about environment. Is, mm -hmm. is there like a kind of film that goes the most? Uh, y yes and no. Uh, uh, yes, uh, documentaries, especially documentaries with a with a with a strong to topic, uh, seem to work. So uh, because there is there is not only your uh, so. Films that, that deal with a topic that is bigger than the film uh, uh, mostly most of the time work work uh, or and, and and be successful and or are successful because uh, there is not only your film but there is a movement there is some kind of you know uh, some com kind of community behind it uh, Age of Stupid and all those films uh, uh, they worked with uh, they also. Um, did some kind of campaigning at the Copenhagen uh, climate summit and so on. So they they tried to they tried to uh, the film was one, only one one part of their of their idea and of their of their work. So they tried to really change change the world and and, and tell the tell the people that there is something going on and then that that climate change is is really here. So uh, if you have a topic that that's interesting for for more than a few a few uh, persons, then then it's it's always better. But there is also uh, there is also uh, some kind. I really I often read about you know horror films, zombie films, and so on. So also those those genres work because there is a huge community uh, of of horror film fans. So uh, also those those films work, and it always depends on um, yeah. Um, it always also depends on your on your on your territory and and where you live but 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 most of the time there is a, there is a community uh, for every topic it's it's some are easier to to uh, um, to reach out to and some are not that easy but I think documentaries are sometimes quite good because you can 
because there is uh, they're going to be interesting for for f th the topic is interested interesting thank you Wolfgang I think it's the time is getting really tight now yeah one minute to go much more questions but I think we need to finish <laughs> yet I think uh, these are the, the guys who develop the design the project and they want to try this crowdfunding thing so they want to make uh, to, they will develop the crowdfunding campaign and they want to present it on, on Ununi TV to get feedback and to refine the campaign and we will just make a, uh, the announcement on Ununi TV when they are ready to make the session mm -hmm. and then in another session they will make talk about the experiences they made and all the, the results that came out of this crowdfunding campaign. Okay. So, we need to finish from inside. Maybe you make the conclusion for you. <laughs> okay, there, I, 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 I just read that there are no, no questions so far. From 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 online uh, uh, viewers or visitors, but maybe there are some questions later. So uh, thanks also for for joining us and for your attention. And of course, you can use uh, uh, Ununi TV uh, later for your project. Um, as uh, Fritz uh, Fritz to uh, told us, uh, there will be a, a group of, of filmmakers um, that are going to try crowdfunding or. or to develop a crowdfunding campaign, and yeah, we're eager to hear about your project on Ununi TV. Yes, and we will crowdsource the translation Ununi TV. In ah, <laughs> that that would be nice. Yes. We will crowdsource. And we, then let's stay in touch. Definitely stay in touch. <laughs> okay. So. Bye. Thank you very bye. much. Bye. <laughs> and see you soon. <laughs> Maybe maybe you all you all uh, um, wave with your hand. Then I do a screenshot. Then I make a screenshot. Yes. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Nice. Ciao. <laughs> Ciao. Ciao. <laughs> Ciao.